Guys, welcome to my new video uh, where I show you how to overclock your uh, CPU, namely the AMD Ryzen CPUs. Um, I've overclocked the 1700X to 4 GHz, you can see that here. However, I managed to let this CPU downclock as it needs um, when there is no load. On it. How did I do that? Well, check the advanced settings. I'm in balanced mode, not maximum performance. So that allows the CPU to clock down. For example, if I put this to maximum, the CPU clock will be maxed out. Back to balance, and you'll see the frequency dropping, and thus saving power now how did I do that well I'm going to show you restart and get into the bias and once we are here you can see that free CPU frequency is 4 gigahertz and I left the BCLK 100 stock and let everything stuck. However, I increased the voltage to what it's needed to run this CPU at 4 gigahertz. So what you need to do is leave this CPU call ratio on auto. Otherwise it will stick to what you have entered here. In order to let the CPU up and down clock as needed, you will have to modify the ratio in a different manner. As you can see, the ratio is 40, although I didn't enter it here. How did I do that? Well, you need to go to to this AMD CVS no. and there in the Zen common options you will find the option for custom P states. Once you accept these you have to modify the P states area, that's the maximum clock to FID, DID, and VID. This is matching 4 gigahertz. This is the voltage. And that's already it. As you can see, the other P states weren't touched by me. Only the maximum clock. All right. This, this is how my bias looks. I'll put the tutorial down below in the description. It was actually a forum post that I found on overclockers.uk that led me to that topic. Um, yeah, you can check this for reference. I think most 1700Xs will reach 4 gigahertz. The 1700s might not reach 4 GHz and you need to alter this three numbers accordingly uh, to which you have to alter this uh, is explained in the forum post